first thing you notice is a real distinctive, unique hop aroma that's floral, it's citrusy, it's smooth, complex, and really pops out of the beer. Balance. We really wanted to not focus on hop bitterness, but rather hop flavor and aroma, and still have enough malt character to have balance within the style. We wanted to get some malts that would impart quite a bit of malt flavor um, to really build that base to support the hops. And then we've got eight different hop varieties in there. We're adding hops at every stage of the process. We have early in the kettle, all throughout the boil, at the end of the boil, in the whirlpool, we have it in the hop back, and then we add hops again in fermentation as dry hopping. Actually just getting raw hops from the, the farmer or the, the hop broker and using them in our hop back process in the brew house. So we're running hot wort from the whirlpool over a bed of whole flower hops, just picking up really delicate flavors and aromas without any of the bitterness. We worked hard to make sure the malts are playing nicely with the hops in this one and that it's not just dominated by one aspect over another. It's a great example of a balanced beer while still being a hop forward beer.